our first quarter earnings uh, on an underlying basis, excluding the Archegos loss, was one of our best quarters in the history of Credit Suisse. Definitely the best quarter in the last 10 years. Uh, the underlying uh, pre-tax income was 3.6 billion. Uh, and if you look at the various businesses, we were all up. Every division was up. Uh, investment banking revenues were up 80%. Asia uh, had a particularly strong performance, but also in Switzerland, our home market, very solid performance. Uh, and also in IWM, both on the private banking side as well as in asset management. Strong net new assets across the board, be it in private banking, be it in asset management. So let's talk about the Archegos story. What impact has this had on you personally and on the bank? The uh, loss we had in Archegos was unacceptable and we had to take actions in terms of uh, management changes. We are reducing our exposure uh, in this business. We are reviewing our risk uh, controls and systems in that area. We uh, reduced our exposures to the underlying positions now by over 97%. Uh, we had to take another roughly $600 million loss uh, in the second quarter. But at the same time, we have taken action also on the capital side. We have raised uh, almost $2 billion through uh, two series of mandatory convertibles. Uh, and we have now uh, an implied uh, CT1 ratio of 13%. If you take all the measures uh, into account that happened since the um, uh, 1st of April. The Wall Street Journal says that the potential liability was $20 billion to Archegos. Can you confirm that number? And can you tell us what further job losses there may be in relation to the scandal? We are not commenting uh, on uh, uh, exact numbers with clients, uh, but directionally uh, this is not far away. But uh, um, we have now taken uh, the main uh, personal changes, but we are now reviewing with the board uh, through an internal investigation what else uh, we have to improve in this area. Uh, and this is all I can say at this stage. Can you tell us, um, in terms of the uh, clients uh, remaining with the bank, are they staying with you? And how are you managing the reputational risk with clients who are keen perhaps to distance themselves from the prime brokerage desk? Our clients are 100% behind us. We've had, as you saw, not only in the first quarter net new assets, but uh, we have had very positive engagement with our clients across the board, be it uh, on the wealth management side, be it investment banking, uh, be it with institutional clients or corporate clients. So uh, the support by our clients is unwavered and uh, we've had also very positive feedback for some of our clients uh, as part of the mandatory convertible we just raised. Did you ask the board to accept your resignation at all? Did you tender your resignation uh, given that this is uh, one of a series of hits the bank has taken under your brief tenureship. Look, this is the time now for action, for remediation, and to take the company to the next level. This is the time for solutions. We have uh, had uh, a very difficult first quarter in terms of these two incidents, but at the same time, uh, the operational performance that you saw in the first quarter proved that our strategy was right and we're on the right track. Uh, so is that a no that you didn't tender your resignation or offer it? Absolutely no.